Hey there, welcome back. Today on our Gateway Resources and Support YouTube channel, we're going to continue our series on Gateway Survivor with episode four. We're calling this one, Putting the Pieces Together. And we're actually gonna look specifically at a science prompt for decoding and annotating. Now, even though we're looking at a science prompt, the technique that we're learning today and the strategy can be applied to science and social studies, but do know that episode five will be with Sean and he'll be decoding a social studies prompt. So learning the technique in either video, great, but this one is based for science, whereas episode five will be based on social studies. So let's get started. So the science prompt that we have today to look at um, is called the I-85 collapse and cell organelles. So the first thing I want us to do when we sit down, let's say it's the day that you're going to write your gateway essay and you sit down and you open up your test booklet and you read the title. And when you read the title, you think, wow, I know a lot about this or, oh no, I don't know a lot about this. So the strategy that we're gonna use today to go through the prompt is important because by the time you finish, you'll have everything organized and laid out to where you can begin writing your essay in a constructed manner that makes sense, that uses evidence, and that is clear and concise. So let's work up to the top. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna read the title, uh, the I-85 Collapse and Cell Organelles. Okay, I kind of remember stuff about cell organelles in biology, but let's see. We're gonna go down to the background and read a little bit more. And I'm gonna make some notes and underline words or phrases that kind of stick out. A group of students are tasked with creating an analogy that relates an Atlanta metropolitan event to the cell organelles. The students have selected the ID5 bridge collapse as the event in which they want to create an analogy. Okay, so I am going to circle the word analogy because I know that with an analogy, I'm going to be comparing two things. So in this background information, it's telling me the things I'm going to be comparing are cell organelles to something related to this bridge collapse. And we're gonna create an analogy to compare those two things. Okay, I got it. All right, next we're gonna go down to the writing task. And this is where some really important information is for us to organize, so let's kind of dig in. All right, it says, as the students, as the students task with finishing the group's work, use the documents your groupmates have created to craft an essay that links the ID5 bridge collapse with the function of an organelle in animal cell. Okay. So I'm going to be using some documents. I'm going to talk about the I-85 bridge collapse. And I know that that is in Atlanta. Um, and I'm going to talk about how, you're, I'm going to compare this collapse with the function of an organelle in an animal cell. And I remember an animal cell has a cell membrane that just popped in my mind. So I'm going to write that down but no cell wall. So when things pop into your mind, it's called prior knowledge, just jot it down there so you can save it for later. And then we're gonna get down to the meat of the essay. And this is um, where they're telling you, be sure to complete. So they're telling you exactly what to write. Now here, this technique that we're about to do right now, super important. And I want you to pay attention because I want you to actually duplicate this when you're going through the prompt on your own, whether it's science or social studies. So I want you to go through, and at each bullet, I want you to put a box around any action verbs that you see. I'm going to tell you why in a second. So I'm going to read this first bullet. It says, identify a cell organelle that can be related to Interstate 85. So identify is an action verb. What are we identifying? We're identifying a cell organelle and how it relates to Interstate 85. Okay, that makes sense. All right, here's another action word. Describe. What am I supposed to describe? I'm describing a function of an organelle that's like a major interstate, okay? So in this one paragraph, so this is actually gonna be body paragraph number one. And in this body paragraph number one, I'm actually gonna have to talk about two things. And if I don't talk about both these things, then they're gonna ding me on my scores and I won't pass. So make sure that you know how to do this by picking out those action verbs to know what to do. Quickly going through the second one, we're gonna use traffic related analogies to describe, what are we describing? how an organelle interacts with an organelle from bullet point one that you picked up here. Then we're going to go to, that was body paragraph number two. And for body paragraph three, we're going to predict. What are we predicting? How the cell would be affected 
if it stopped functioning. And then secondly, we're going to explain our prediction with evidence, okay? All right, so that's body paragraph number three. So body paragraph one is asking us to do two things, identify and describe. Body paragraph two is asking us to do one thing where we're describing how those organelles interact. And then the third body paragraph, we're gonna do two things as well. We're gonna predict um, how the cell's affected when it, it stops functioning, the organelle stops functioning. Then we're gonna explain our prediction and we're gonna use that text evidence. So we know that we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five major points to talk about in our essay. All right, the next important step is to go through our documents and we're gonna write all over them. We're gonna write prior knowledge that pops into our mind, vocab words that relate to the content. We're gonna write all over our documents, right? So document A is a diagram of an animal cell with organelles. Oh, guess what? Great news. If I didn't know what the organelles were in an animal cell, they gave me this illustration to tell me what some of them are. So let me go through and see. All right, I remember nucleus. I remember endoplasmic reticulum and cytoplasm. I also remember ribosomes and cell membrane. I definitely remember microtubules and lysosomes. Everything else I, I might not remember too well, but you know what? I think I have enough organelles to pick from that I can find one that works for me. I'm also going to notice that they said that I'm supposed to think of the cell like a city. So I'm thinking if the center of the city um, is like the center of the nucleus. So I'm going to put Atlanta here. And then I'm starting to notice some things around here. And I know that one of these things, this microtubule right here, is actually used, uh, it's sort of like a road where organelles are transported in the cell. So you know what? I think that one would actually be a really good one to do for my essay. So I'm going to leave that there. All right, document B. Here we have a map that shows us the daily traffic volume on that interstate that we're supposed to be talking about. And what I'm noticing is right here where this star is, this is where that bridge was that collapsed, which means it kind of ended transportation from here to here, right? I also noticed that there are 219,000 cars that go on this road. So if this is blocked out, that's a big deal for transportation for this area. And thinking about this as a cell, what happens in traffic is when something gets blocked off, they have to reroute it. So I'm wondering if that's going to happen. So I'm going to write rerouting up here with a question mark, because that might be how I use this document to talk about the cell. All right, and so our last document they gave us is actually a news excerpt from the news about the uh, bridge collapse event. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to skim through and read this. This is probably what happened and what caused this uh, bridge to collapse. So if I'm noticing and skim reading, I noticed that there was a massive fire that collapsed a section and the section of 85 freeway. Um, there were stranded motorists for miles. So that really affected traffic in a negative way. Um, I also see down here when I'm skim reading the word in quotation marks, transportation crisis. So I might actually use that in my essay. I think that would be really good to align the impact of the bridge collapse with the impact of the failing organelle. So I'm gonna put a star beside that one. And lastly, the fire caused the collapse of the bridge, right? So this event caused this to occur. Okay, the last thing I want to do in this strategy, this technique for uh, pre-writing, is I want us to go back and look at the documents and which document would actually help us in each bullet body paragraph. So we're actually going to physically write out to the side which document we're going to use. So for body paragraph one, I'm thinking we're going to use document A for the organelles, the cell organelles, so we can help with that. And then document B, where it shows us that traffic issue. Now, the second paragraph, I think the best document for this one would be document C. So we're going to write that in there um, because that talks about the effect of the collapse. And then document A, document B, and document C we could use for this last one we're predicting and explaining with evidence, right? So if you look at what we've completed today, we have looked at the title. 
we have gone through and picked out words from the background. We have identified what we need to do for each body paragraph, and we know the order in which to write the paragraphs. We went through all the documents and wrote prior knowledge and vocab words, and then came back and wrote which documents we're gonna use for each body paragraph. Now, this is a great tool, and I really hope that you utilize this strategy when you're going through the gateway on your own. I think this will make you very successful and be ready to go ahead and start writing that rough draft. Remember, you have a decent amount of time, so take your time, invest in this technique, because I think it will do you a lot of good. So one more time, just to visually recap all the things we did with this pre-writing technique. We looked at the title. We read the background and underlying keywords and phrases. We looked at action verbs to identify what we needed to do in each bullet and how many things each bullet required of us to talk about. We worked through the documents and we wrote prior knowledge, we wrote content vocab, and we started to make some connections between the bullets and the documents. And then we went back to the bullets and physically wrote which document we could use with each bullet. So that when we started writing paragraph, body paragraph one, we knew to use documents A and B to pull from. Hopefully this has helped you out. Um, Sean will be decoding a social studies prompt on our next episode, episode five. So be sure to check that out in the links below in the comment section. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out our channel, Surviving the Gateway. And if you have any questions, make sure to post them in the comments below. Have a great day.